most memorable moments for me. I, I have no idea where this came from. Thank God it came. Thank God it happened. Good morning, folks. We're heading south on Interstate 44 to Lake of the Ozarks. Got one day of practice for the BFL. This is the second BFL in the Ozark division. And I'm gonna be fishing today with my buddy Josh Wisdom. Um, you've seen him on a couple of videos. It's been a while. We got to do some crappie fishing on Cedar Lake and we got into him pretty good on Egypt one day when there was snow on the boat ramp. But he was down here and we've been trying to get together to go fishing. So what a better way to do it when you're already gonna be down here practicing for a derby. But we got really nice conditions today. Uh, air temps are 44 right now. Ran through some 30, mid 30s on the way down here, but it's supposed to get up in the high 60s, maybe touch 70. Bluebird skies, we're three days away from a cold front, so things are starting to stabilize. The, you know, this spring's had, we've had a lot of a lot of cold fronts. We'll have some nice stable weather for two, three days, and a cold front pushes through and it has to recover. Water temps have been in the 50s. I don't know what they are on Lake Ozarks, which I will definitely give you an update when I get in the boat with him. But we're gonna be fishing the Niangua area. Um, so I'm meeting him at the Larry Gale Access is an area of the lake that I don't get to fish that much so I'm kind of excited to, to sniff around up there and look at things but looking forward to the tournament I've heard the fish are you know starting to move up shallow but these cold fronts push them out so it's up and down it's kind of a day by day thing but with this warming trend hopefully you know things will get a little bit better and people will start catching some more fish and uh I don't know what I'm gonna. I got I got eight rods. I'm hoping to only take six in the boat with me, based off of what I find. Uh, I find out today. That's always the goal when I jump in the boat with somebody. You know, I'm fishing on the co-angler side, and I try to figure out a bait or two that I got some confidence fishing behind somebody. Uh, Josh is gonna be doing several things. We're gonna be checking the backs and stuff. We're gonna be checking main leg. He's gonna be all over the place. So we're gonna get a good sample of, of what's going on. And, Hopefully I can find a couple baits that I got confidence and just be able to keep those baits in my hand and snip up a, a few bites in the derby tomorrow. So I'm gonna put this camera down so I can focus on driving. I will see you at the boat ramp. Hey, if you like this content, please give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. Just a reminder, we do live streams on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Love to see you guys on there. It's a great time to just ask questions to our guests. We've got a ton of guests. If you haven't seen the live stream, come check them out. It's fun. I've been dropping videos on Wednesdays and Fridays at 7 a.m. in the morning. So have a look. chips let's just say that <laughs> this could almost be worst case scenario for a guy with a big leak because somebody's gonna blast him and nobody nobody did i was like oh we got a little wind today it's gonna be a little rainy oh, today we're really gonna catch him and it you know went from 22 pounds on day one when it was like super slow. all right folks we made it to the lake man the boat ramp was a little bit of a cluster it's just small up there so josh What's the plan for today, man? We're just gonna bounce main lake to the backs, main lake to the backs. Main lake to the backs, main lake to the backs. Just looking to see which group of fish wanna eat first. Yep, and you've been out here for a couple hours. How's your morning been so far? Terrible. Really? Horrible. Slow, huh? We've caught three bass. Oh, you're Two shorts, one, one keeper. You're eliminating water. Yes. Yeah. Well, I knew I wasn't coming up here. I figured I wasn't coming up here. It started getting bad last week up here, so. Yeah. All those big bags that were caught up here three weeks ago. Let's see, I had 22. Ian and them had 24. Like all them 20 pound bags that have come up from here a couple weeks ago, they're fishing. So they've obviously been hauled off and they're dispersing. Yeah. So they're not grouped up like they were. Well, you gotta come up here and put it out of your mind, you know, just to 
because if you don't, you'll be wondering about it. So we're gonna make a little run. I'll see you at the landing spot. Good one. Fast one. It's fired up. They're getting bigger. Some big ones. Yeah. That's the fertilizer right there. Who, block it? Block it. Yeah. Yeah, Bridgeford Meats. Yeah. Because I thought I seen him. His boat's wrapped in Bridgeford. Yeah, he'd be fishing. He'd be fishing this. He's fishing the Ozark Division. Yeah, I, I can't remember. I don't know what his wrap looks like. It's either black or red. It's black and red. Yeah, black and red. I don't know if it's more black than red. I think it's more black than red. Have you ever had him on this your show? Yeah. How was that kind of It's all right. We didn't talk live scope really much. I mean, there's no reason to. I already know his stance on it. We had Menendez on the other day. Who? Menendez on. Uh, the... Mark Menendez. He's an elite guy from, he lives on Kentucky Lake. He's Menendez. He's been fishing the leads ever forever. He didn't make it or whatever, but he was on the. You know how like when they don't make it to the final day, but they'll have him sit there and talk. Yeah, yeah, he was. He was on live. Yeah, he's a good dude. He kind of addressed his his. Uh, got one. He talked about his, him and some of the other pros' stance on live scope. What's his? He's, I mean, he's learning it. Is he an old guy? Yeah, he's in his 50s. Yeah. He's he talks about all the years he learned all these spots and then live scope kind of, people can just Bye. find stuff super quick. Yeah. Oh yeah. And then Randy Blockett took my live stream and made a video out of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I got a lot of views off of it. I texted him and said, hey, next time you use my stuff, I'd appreciate you texting me and asking me if it's okay. What did he say? He was like, cool, I will next time. Folks, a little Ozark rig. <sighs> Healthy fish. So one thing I would do, just like for the co-angler, say, hey, we'll make one more cast or we're getting ready to move. Cause, oh, yeah. Cause a lot of co-anglers have, you know, they'll have their stuff out. It gives them a chance to get their stuff put away. Got this strip show next. Little feller. Found a little fish. A skinny guy too. Is that a vulture over there? Yeah. To the right here on the bank. Turkey vulture, I think. Yeah. Nature's garbage disposal. One of many.
When do you get your figure your fishing one? Uh, you'll get a, you'll get a text probably about six forty-five. Call, call, or he'll call, or I don't know. I'll just let him call me. Yeah. Unless I don't hear from him, but time I'm going to bed. You putting in at PB two, or are you gonna put in somewhere yeah. else? James Watson has been suspended for multiple violations of standards outlined in the 2024 Major League Fishing Angler League newspaper. <laughs> Watson's invitation to compete on the Bass Pro Tour has been revoked, and he is prohibited from fishing. That's awesome. What did he get suspended for? Oh, you you haven't seen that uh that hashtag FBD hat that he came out with? The what? It says hashtag FBBD. It Two stands B's. for boy duck it oh, but yeah. he said it means fishing boat docks yeah he's been selling that merchandise and it's been a big it's been a big buzz so i, I guess they finally said okay that, that's enough of well, that he was this last year fishing anyway yeah he's done with them yeah but they already they already gave him that big fine for talking trash about bpt on on podcast he was talking trash like on a bunch of yeah, podcasts or, but about I mean, boy duck it ever say anything really bad though yeah He's just telling the truth, but that's a good old boys club. You start talking about the the president and stuff, they don't like that. So boy duck it. Like two is it F B B D so four letters? No, it's hashtag F B D. Boy duck it. But Watson promoted it as fishing boat docks. Yeah, unless they got him on camera illegally, they can't say anything. No, he never said everybody knows exactly what it means though. Right, but it doesn't matter what everybody presumes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's a millionaire. He can, he don't need oh, he, doesn't, he don't need major yeah, league fishing. Yeah, little one. Right on the back corner of that dock. A little spot of not eponymous. There you go. They all count. Shout out to Matt Hill. Well, that just got to sell me 800 jigs for like 1600 bucks. Huh. He makes them himself or what? Yeah. Well, we were drinking this in his basement. Little guy. Yeah, little He's still trying to swim. He's still trying to swim? Yeah. Settle down, buddy. Got him in the eyeball. Looks like I'll be throwing a Ned rig tomorrow. Just you never know. I don't throw a Ned rig that much. I'm trying to throw it a little more. I will definitely be throwing it next week at Kentucky Lake. Where? Kentucky Lake. I got a BFL down there next week. It can be really good. A Ned rig can be really good down there this time of year. Some small smallmouth will start spawning a lot earlier. The crankbait fish. All right, folks, midday report. Um, 70 degrees out here. Water temperature is 54.5. 54 so it's been 50 to, I saw 56 in some spots. So it's kind of. Yeah, it's kind of all over the place, but definitely uh, low, I'd say low to mid 50s. Um, the clarity is two to five foot, depends on where you're at. I've seen some pretty good stain up in the river. Uh, fishing's kind of slow. I mean, we're catching a few, we probably caught four keepers, but it was definitely better yesterday, is what Josh said, and just covering uh, covering a lot of different stuff. Really haven't figured out any kind of pattern. I mean, I, I caught a keeper on a Ned rig, caught some shorts on a Ned rig, caught some on a beaver. He's caught some on an A-rig, a jig, um, jerk, jerk bait, crank bait, and just kind of haven't really dialed in the exact spot where they're at. We've been. I don't think there is any dialing in. I just think they're scattered, and you're just gonna fish several different things. Like I'm gonna fish from the main lake tomorrow, and I'm gonna fish to the very back. Well, I mean, or the, I'm gonna fish back here, and I'm gonna fish right here. Nothing in between. I'm not gonna fish any of that. I'm either gonna be right here, or I'm gonna be right there. Show me again. I'm gonna be back here, or I'm gonna be right here. 
all this in between, I will not be fishing. Okay. So just about, we're just eliminating a little bit of water and um, it's a transition period, guys. I mean, the fish are moving. Um, they've been up shallow like in the last couple weeks and then they've moved back out and it's just kind of back and forth until they finally settle into where they want to be. They're pulling current some days, which pulls them out on the main lake points and they get aggressive and then, you know, like tomorrow, the wind's blowing right now, tomorrow it's supposed to be flat. So just uh, a lot of- Drag a lot jig. Of, drag, drag a jig, jig, something slow. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping the Ned Rig comes through. I mean, I hate throwing a Ned Rig, but whatever. I don't really care. If I get a few bites on it, I'd be happy with it. So that's, that's the report. Was it? Yeah. That was, that was a giant. Really? Yeah. I couldn't even hardly turn it. I want to know what the deal is with why Andrew Upshaw uh, complained about. Brian knew? Yeah. Yeah. I think Brian knew that he, like, what I don't understand is his explanation. Y'all have a good day. Good luck, guys. Thanks. His explanation made no sense. He said he went over to bed. He was fishing a bed and fish, and he turned around and blew it out. Yeah, but he did it with, back to it. yeah, later. right. So it didn't cause a disadvantage to anybody. But his intentions were, because he, he's an, he's probably being too honest. Yeah, I don't know. There's got, the yeah, I know. There's, there's got to be another story to it. More story. How's it going? going. Good. Doing a little spring cleaning. Okay. Doing a little spring cleaning. I was buffing and polishing this one. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta do that every once in a while. I do them every day. <laughs> All day, every day. Okay. Okay, so you're on a job then. I got you. Okay. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel better, they're not biting very well. Yeah, I feel a little better. Yeah. <laughs> Out here in the middle of the lake. Nah. Yeah, I might have. It might have just came off of that. Yeah, it is. It's close. It'll be a small keeper. Take them. I'll take them. There you go. A little Ned rig. Couple fish right here. Two of them folded out really good. The one that come out and hit it, he wasn't very big. The other two that were sitting off that corner, those two right there, yeah. followed it all the way out. Yeah. 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 Sitting, sitting there blinking, I'm like, I'm about to come right over his head. Good one. Yeah. Yeah, that worked. Saw the fish. I seen them sitting down there on them blocks. Uh, fat little on. sucker. That's fat one. Yeah. Heck yeah. I bet that fish I had earlier was triple as that size. Yeah. Good solid fish. Feel like grabbing the truck? Yeah, no problem. It's on that first row when you walk up. It's the first row on the left, you know, the furthest one. So if you walk straight up the 
Low ramp would be on your right. I'm be on the right? Yeah, okay. All right, that's a wrap on the practice video. It is dark, forgot to do an outro, but you know, it was tough today. It was very tough. Tomorrow's a new day. Um, Josh has been on a pretty good bite the last several weeks, and he said that um, this was one of the tougher days that he's fishing quite a while. And talking to the guys at the house that went out, they said it was pretty slow today as well. And Mike, you know, Marfo, my buddy, he um, had a pretty good day yesterday, but today was definitely tougher. Tomorrow, less wind, 70 degrees, bluebird skies and it's a new day you know um i'm taking like six maybe seven rods i'm gonna keep it kind of simple i did put the a rig back into the mix because josh caught several fish on that today i'd kind of i'm done with an a rig you know i didn't even take my a rig rod but i did have a, i do have a rod that um i've decided to use for it was my jig rod i got one of those the uh Virtus ranger seven foot three ranger heavy and it's a sweet jig rod i'm kind of disappointed that i got to use it for an a rig but after what i saw today i definitely need an a rig rod just to keep it honest um so tomorrow tournament day new video thumbs up if you appreciate the content don't forget to subscribe and a reminder um if you're looking to get that tackle box stocked for the spring bait works thm 10 gets you 10 percent off of your order at Baitworks. Um, that's it, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. Um, I think my goal is to get 10 pounds and I'm hoping for like 14 or 15. So 10 pounds, I'll feel good. I hate making predictions. I usually jinx myself, but we will see. How you like this backdrop too? It's kind of nice. It's dark out here. Anyway, I'm rambling. Till next time.